Welcome back. So let's see where we left off. So at this point, we know that you can use binary numbers, only zeros and ones, to represent numbers, positive and negative, and floating point numbers. And we know that uh, we have three basic uh, Boolean or logical operators, logical and, logical or, and logical not. Uh, and I showed you using transistors, two in series for an AND gate, two in parallel for an, a and for an OR gate, and a single transistor and a resistor for a NOT gate, how I can physically build these logical Boolean operators AND, OR, and NOT. And now what I need to show you is how I can go from these three incredibly simple operations, computations, to full-blown computation on a modern computer. And that's what we're going to start talking about today. So let's go ahead and just dig in. So let me start by defining a circuit. So a circuit is a collection of logical gates. You know what a gate is. That's simply an instantiation of AND, OR, and NOT using the transistors. But you know, this again is the power of abstraction. So at this point, I'm going to just start calling them gates. I don't have to worry anymore that they're built from multiple in-series, in-parallel, resistors, transistors. doesn't matter. They're just gates. They are operations that do AND, OR, and NOT. Okay, so a circuit is a collection of logical gates that transforms a set of binary inputs into a set of binary outputs. It's just a function. So a bunch of things come in that are binary because that's the language of modern computer, and a bunch, one or more things can come out which are also binary. It's such a definition of a circuit, and all it's made up is a collection of gates. So all you get to do is and, or, and not. Okay, so let's look at a really simple example. So this is not a meaningful computation. I'm not computing anything that's meaningful. I just want to show you an example of a circuit, and then of course we'll get into meaningful computation in a little bit, and then how we build these circuits. But I just want you to see what a circuit would look like. So typically in a circuit, uh, the input is on the left. I have two inputs here, A and B. This can be a 0 or a 1. This can be a 0 or 1. I have two outputs, C and D. Of course, these have to be 0 or 1s because they are the output of pushing binary inputs through a series of gates. And here are my gates. So here's an OR gate. Remember the shape of the OR gate? It's got that sort of funny rounded back and a plus sign in the middle, just to remember it's an OR. Here's an AND gate with a little dot. And I have a NOT gate right there and a NOT gate right here. So let's see what's happening here. So let's see. Uh, this output is the result of what? A is coming into this OR gate. B is coming in. And notice that little white dot right there. That tells me I'm going to take this input and I'm going to bifurcate it. I'm going to bring it up here into this OR gate. But I'm also going to carry it through into this NOT and eventually into this AND. So that little dot tells me that the same signal goes in two different directions. So whatever B is, it comes up here. And out of here comes what? A or B. So the output C is simply the result of A or B. It's not meaningful. It doesn't mean anything right now. But let's not worry about it. I'm just trying to show you what a circuit looks like. So that is the output. And of course, since A can be 0 or 1, true or false, B can be 0, 1, true or false, C, of course, is 0 or 1, true or false. So let's see what D is. OK, so let's see. So the output of this OR is coming into the AND gate. So first of all, is that allowed? Sure, this is just a 0 or 1 and the result of ORing these two bits. So this is just another binary number that's coming in. So this is the AND of A and or B. And what else? Well, let's see. B comes in here. It goes through a NOT gate, which I'll denote as B with a hashtag. Sometimes you'll see a B with a, sorry, a B with an apostrophe. Sometimes you'll see B with a line over the top of it. So that's also coming into the AND gate. So I'm ANDing A or B, the output of this, AND NOT B going through here. And then I'm going to NOT the whole thing to get D at the end. So the expression D is equal to A or B, it's coming in from up here, and not B, and then the whole thing is knotted. There's the little apostrophe there. Okay, So it's a circuit. What is a circuit? It's a collection of gates, or not, and, that's all I can do, that takes a series of binary inputs, one or more, and outputs a series, one or more, of binary outputs. That's a circuit. Now, again, this isn't a particularly meaningful, in fact, it's not at all meaningful. And now what we want to ask ourselves is, well, okay, now that I have a mechanism for creating a circuit that 
is a computation, right? We're going to take a bunch of binary inputs and create a bunch of binary outputs. So imagine my binary inputs are two binary numbers I want to add, and the output is the summation. Or my input is two things I want to compare if they're equal, and my output is true or false. And so the nature of computation is going to happen by pushing inputs, A and B, C and D, whatever that is on the left-hand side, through a series of gates and or not to get a series of outputs, which hopefully are going to be meaningfully uh, computations. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to show how do you actually build meaningful computation now that we know what a circuit is and how we build a circuit from gates. So that's the end for now, and we'll pick it up in a few minutes.